Hello, hello, welcome back. Um, just to address the elephant in the room, new setup, new lighting, let me know what you think. Today I'm doing a video that was voted for by you guys, so it is a bit of a negative one, but it's what you wanted. <laughs> I'm going to be talking through 10 rides which I really don't like. So I've picked five dark rides and five coasters. Um, just to cover my own back here, if you like any of these rides or have an attachment to them or disagree with me, this isn't an attack, this isn't a you can't like this ride, this is completely personal opinion, no hate. To be fair, if someone slated Nemesis, I'd be quite offended, so I'm really sorry if I've slated some of that you like. But without further ado, here are 10 rides that I hate. That's a bit strong. These are 10 rides that I dislike in no particular order. So starting off with a coaster, um, I'm going to get roasted for this because I used to absolutely bum this ride, to be quite honest. I used to say it was the best of Blackpool, blah blah blah, and then opening weekend 2020 happened. So my first roller coaster that I dislike is the Big Dipper at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I know, I know. Basically, to me, the first three drops feel just like the first three drops of Nick Streak, except ten times rougher. If you want something that's rough but still really enjoyable and sort of a white knuckle ride, you have the Grand National right there. If you want a, a woody that is a bit smoother and lots of fun, you have Nick Streak. Big Dipper just kind of has the worst of both. And honestly, I do think part of my personal vendetta against it is the fact that I spent so much time defending it to my friends and then rolled it with them and it did me dirty and it hurt and it was completely unenjoyable, so I really don't like it anymore and I'm not going to be rushing over to ride it anytime soon. So sticking to the same park and on the flat ride category, the next ride that I really dislike is the Flying Machines at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and I know, again, the heritage, basically all just like everything at Blackpool. But I think there's a point where something goes from being a heritage ride with history and uh, sort of nostalgia to just being like old and it looks like it's going to fall apart and it's not enjoyable anymore and I think Blackpool is kind of taking that back and installing some newer rides and sort of redoing things aka Valhalla but the flying machines I don't think any amount of work could save them yeah they look pretty cool from ground level but I don't like the loading system I don't like how you climb your way on them and I definitely do not like the ride experience feeling like I'm gonna fly out I I've tried to ride them a few times, as an adult obviously, I wouldn't have gone near that as a kid and every time I just end up feeling like I'm dying and I'm like back to being a little worse that I was a few years ago, I just do not find any enjoyment in that ride and no one that I know actually enjoys the flying machines. I think that says enough. So I've just realised that four of the ten things on this list are from Blackpool so I'm just going to carry on absolutely roasting Blackpool, I'm really sorry. Um, the next ride that I dislike is a coaster. Is it a coaster? It's steeplechase. So I have only ridden two of the lanes, I, th I think it's the yellow and the red. It is not worth that third cred if you count it as three creds. I hate that ride. Not only are you holding on for dear life, for some reason having to take your bag on it when you're- imagine riding a carousel with your bag on you, that, it's like ten times worse than that. It's uncomfortable, it hurts, it jolts. I just, I don't see the point of it being there anymore, I'm sorry. I don't think it holds any special enough heritage for them to justify keeping a ride where one lane's always closed because it's broken down. I never ever ride it unless my friends are desperate to. I don't think it brings anything special, I don't think it's good. It's, it's, I think it's the ride out of this list that I genuinely hate, I'm sorry. So, to end my Blackpool roast, um, Peanut is going to tell you... Nikki really hates Revolution. Okay, no, I should rephrase that. I dislike Revolution. Um, I've given it a few fur goes, and on the last attempt of riding it, yeah, there's a good amount of her time, blah blah blah, but I think part of why I hate this is the way that you get on it. You go up like 5,000 flights of stairs, and then at the top, every time it dispatches the entire station, thing wobbles it doesn't i know obviously it is safe but it doesn't feel safe you get yolted to a degree which isn't fun anymore for me personally 
I find the restraints quite uncomfortable. I just, I don't find the enjoyment in it. And I know some people love it and I completely respect that. I can see why people really enjoy it, but for me, I haven't had a single ride where I've actually enjoyed it. All of my pictures end up coming out disgusting because I'm fearing for my life. Yeah, I'm sorry, Revolution is on this list. So now I guess I'm going park by park because a lot of these disliked rides are at the same regions. So my next disliked ride is It's a Small World at Walt Disney World. I feel like this is a ride that people either absolutely love or absolutely hate. I'm on the hating end. I love the idea of it. I feel like it's very coercive, everyone together kind of thing. It represents cultures. I've watched the Imagineering story and all the amazing detail that they put into getting everything culturally correct. And that that's amazing, genuinely. But what I, what I dislike is the same thing that a lot of people dislike. The soundtrack being drilled into your head for like 10 minutes. You come out of it singing it in your bloody sleep. I just, I can't enjoy it. I, I would never choose to ride it again. We did it just to kind of tick off the classic Disney things, but I went to Disneyland Paris, swiftly walked past it. I will touch wood, that's rubber, never step foot on It's a Small World again. I feel, I feel awful for it, but generally the way I picture it is really slow moving bolts full of kids and repetitive loud music and I just, it's not my vibe, sorry. So sticking to Walt Disney World and Magic Kingdom, I believe anyway, um, the next ride that I dislike is the classic Space Mountain. I really wanted so badly to like this ride and I didn't really watch many POVs, I didn't want to have too much of an idea of what it was like and as you can tell from the picture going in, like this picture's taken right at the start, you can already see my disappointment in my face. Um, I, I completely get it that it's a classic and I guess I'm glad that it's still there for those kinds of reasons but as a coaster it feels like a death trap again, I know it's probably technically safe but I just found it like cagey, I felt like I was gonna hit myself constantly, it was really rattly, really strange. I was just so excited for this amazing classic coaster and it just ended up being so disappointing and so rickety and it didn't feel up to the same standard as other, you know, Disney World rides. Um, I'm, I'm very lucky that I got to do the Disneyland Paris version and I can, although that one was a little bit rickety, that's miles ahead of the Walt Disney World one and that's like Disney World, that's a big set of Florida parks, Magic Kingdom, blah blah blah, and it was just so disappointing and I think now that Tron's gonna be coming out, it's gonna make it seem even more outdated. And I just, I hope they keep the building and the concept, but I just really hope it gets either a retrack or a redesign. I just, I really didn't like it. And I was like, 30 seconds in, I was just waiting for it to be over at that point. And I feel like such a classic attraction, such a much loved attraction, really let me down. So the final Disney attraction that I'll be roasting, <laughs> we actually did this on the first day of our Florida trip. And when I initially did it, I quite liked it. But what I dislike is the way that it made me feel and like thinking back on it in hindsight, strangely enough. So this ride is Mission Space at Epcot. So we ended up choosing the thrilling side, obviously being some like, I'm trying to break everything back in 2018. Well, it was quite cool stepping into it and it was quite cool sort of coming out and being like wow all them forces were so exciting so immersive but at the same time i think i think that's sort of through rose tinted lenses is that the right phrase um thinking back on it and thinking about how terrified i was while i was actually riding it um it was extremely claustrophobic i would not recommend if you're claustrophobic in the slightest it made me feel horribly sick for most of the rest of the day and Camille felt quite sick after riding it as well. I remember I ordered this delicious burger from the food and wine festival, I believe it was at the time, and I had one bite and felt like I was gonna puke and it was delicious. The forces are good, it, I guess it is a good simulation of what it's meant to be, but if you're someone who can get motion sick, like at all, I really wouldn't recommend it. I guess, I don't think it's a bad ride, I just think it was bad for me and it really put a dampener on the one day we had at Epcot. I'd say if you really want to do it, but you are susceptible to those kinds of things, try the less intense side. I know I'll definitely be doing that in the future to make a fair comparison, but for me, it just ruined a really valuable day on holiday with my friends and wouldn't do it again. 
So we're going to be moving a few miles away now over to Universal Studios Florida um, for two simulator rides that I disliked. So basically, I think my main issue was with Universal that they relied a bit too heavily on simulators because the actual physical rides, um, like The Mummy for example, they were up, that was amazing, I love that ride to pieces. And then you get The Simpsons ride. Um, very impressive facade, I'll give it that. The queue and everything, there's a lot of like, the humour in there, very sort of like family friendly, slightly offensive, you know, playful humour that The Simpsons has. Loved all that. But the actual ride itself, while the simulator felt fairly convincing, again, it was just another bag of nausea. To me, it's a bit outdated, especially at a park like Universal that's constantly adding new things, going out all the way with all this amazing tech. They have amazing rides like Spider-Man, and then there's The Simpsons where you sat in a little cramped car, whizzing around like on the one screen. It felt like something that you'd get in an arcade, honestly really really disappointed me. I mean the plot was fairly fun but I genuinely don't come for me thought that the story or the chase of the Jimmy Fallon ride was like 10 times more entertaining I'm sorry I just I don't think it makes a good ride. I think it's one of the worst simulators there honestly so yeah I have to roast it it was a bad ride would not recommend I don't really know anyone who has ridden it and likes it and for my second Universal ride that I didn't like, which is again a dark ride, Fast and Furious Supercharged. I I knew I probably wouldn't like it. I'd heard nothing but bad reviews. Some people who I went with thought it was really good. Completely fine, awesome. I'm really glad that some people enjoy it. But for me, I was sat sort of nearest to the window but not window, like the open side. So I, I could basically see the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen in every single scene. The scale of things, aka the bloody helicopter scene, really unconvincing. I didn't find, I found the screens really like, you could tell the depth of them. Everything was very warped from where I was sat. The storyline made no sense. The party at the end was like 10 seconds long and everyone just looked 2D. I'm like, considering what Universal can do and considering how new that ride is, I was, I came out just thinking like, what the hell, like, come on. Like, I, I've watched a few Fast and Furious films. They're decent. I just, I don't know why the ride just came out as it did. I think they could have done so much more. They could have done some like text, test track-esque or similar ride system, something, obviously it's Fast and Furious. Why couldn't they do something actually fast instead of riding a big fat bus? Like, it was just, I knew it would be bad, but I came off feeling a little bit embarrassed and like, what I'd just done, I don't know. I think I'm with like the 98% of people who just think it's tacky. I think the best word is tacky. So we are now onto the 10th ride that I dislike, and that is Indiana Jones Temple du Peril at Disneyland Paris. I was pretty hyped for this because I thought it's kind of wild mouse-ish, wild mouse wild mouse-ish and it has a loop and like I don't know I just Disneyland Paris I know it's the cheaper of the Disney parks but I also imagine that it's Disney it should still be up to standard to some extent I found the Indiana Jones coaster so bad it basically to me felt like something that you'd find at like Blackpool South Pier with some really really lovely theming around it like the theming itself looked beautiful. They really made the coaster look nice. Like I'll give them that. And then you get on the ride, you get the worst restraints I've ever experienced on a roller coaster. So uncomfortable, so cagey. And then with every turn, your head bounces between the head padding, which is actually rock hard. The loop was genuinely the only part that I enjoyed of that ride, if, you, if I'd go as far as saying enjoyed. And the rest of it was just kind of boring. You just twist and turn. I know it's a wild mouse style coaster but they could have done more. I know it's a small layout but look what other manufacturers and other companies do with small spaces. I just think it's really uninventive. I feel like they just took like some stock model coaster, put some stunning theming on, chucked in a Disneyland Paris. I don't know. I just, I didn't have super high hopes for it but I had some hopes for it and it just ended up being terrible. It was way way down in my like rankings of coasters. Just disappointing like everything else on the list. And now that I've roasted Disney, Universal and Blackpool Pleasure Beach essentially, that is my 10 most disliked rides. Um, again, not a lot of these rides necessarily sit way at the bottom of my rankings because I think the ones way at the bottom are boring. 
these are still have good things about them except fast and furious but they just they were just so hit and miss especially for the parks that there are or some of them i just think they're just too outdated and they're past their time and they should make way for something better so let me know what you think tell me any rides that you dislike keeping it respectful because again there's no right and wrong i might think a ride's terrible i might have called a ride awful but really it is an opinion so with that thank you for watching and i will hopefully see you soon bye